Airbnb. If you don't know, Airbnb is a website slash app that people can list their homes on and people can rent them a certain amount of time. It's basically like an alternative to a hotel. Just want to get a quick disclaimer out of the way. This video is not sponsored by Airbnb. <laughs> Anyways, Airbnb recently added their OMG section, which features a bunch of weird, funky, out there homes, such as this UFO looking one, these little hobbit hole looking ones. They're all very unique and very inspiring. So today I thought it could be fun to build one of these weird Airbnbs in The Sims 4. Obviously, before we get into the build, I need to tell you guys about today's sponsor, Beekeepers Naturals. If you know me, you know I do a lot of talking. Whether I'm filming YouTube video, streaming, or just offline gaming with friends, I am always talking, which sometimes can lead to a scratchy or itchy throat. And something I found that really helps is Beekeepers Naturals Propolis Throat Spray. I use this stuff all the time while filming and specifically while streaming because that requires a lot more yapping, which makes my throat really scratchy. Propolis, if you don't know, is what bees use to protect their hive. It fights germs and supports our immune system with antioxidants, minerals, vitamins, among other beneficial compounds. Also, all of Beekeepers Naturals products are made with clean ingredients, always free of artificial colors and preservatives, and third-party tested to make sure that they are pesticide free, which is better for us and the bees. So if you struggle with a scratchy throat like I do, or are just looking for some immune support, look no further than, oops, I almost dropped it. Look no further than Beekeepers Naturals. Four sprays, three to six times a day, and you are good to go. Check out the link in my description to get your very own Propolis Throat Spray, or you can find it on Amazon. Thank you so much again to Beekeepers Naturals for sponsoring today's video, and thank you guys for watching because without you, we would not get sponsors like these. Now let's get into today's build. Full transparency, this is my second time trying to film this video because the first Airbnb that I chose was basically impossible to make in The Sims 4, so I'm pivoting and we're trying a different one. I thought we could make this little hobbit hole. The only thing that I don't think is going to work is this cutesy door, which is so sad. We could pretty much do everything else. Without further ado, let's get started on this. And don't worry, I will pop up a little picture of our house in the left corner here. We are here at the lot Cordelia Secret Cottage in Hedver on Bagley. I have bulldozed a lot, so let's get started on building. I think this specific Airbnb is actually in someone's backyard in Utah, but we're gonna pretend that it's in the woods and it's mystical and magical, okay? Okay. So I'm not entirely sure how I'm gonna do this because as you can see, the top part is round, but the sides are like like, I think the base of it is just a square. I don't know how big I want this to be. It's pretty, like, wide. So I think I'm gonna go like this. And then we could just do a regular gabled roof and then curve it like so. I think I might make our little house here a little bit wider. I feel like we're getting somewhere here. Sorry if I sound stuffed up, by the way. My allergies are bad. But anyways, in some photos, there's a deck. In some photos, there is no deck. I am going to build the little deck because I think it's cute. So let's grab that and put something there. Actually, I think I'm going to use platforms instead. So we're going to build these two little things here and then go one, two, three, and then go one, two. Then I'm going to delete the walls. And I think I'm actually going to lower it for both of them. Cool. I'm also going to raise up the floors in here so that they match on the inside. Lastly, for this roof here, we have this little part here on the side that looks like we're missing a piece of the roof. I don't really know how we're going to do this, but I think I'm going to do this. Voice of Iowa here. I unfortunately have a hard time articulating That's a big word for Elmo. what I'm actually thinking while I'm filming, unfortunately. Um, but in simple terms, I duplicated our gabled roof twice and then duplicated it a third time so that we could bring in the sides to create that little gap for our little slanted section of the roof. Not really complicated. I overcomplicated it in the video. Anyways, continue recording, Ryoa. Perfect. Okay, that's actually perfect. Oh, oh. I didn't think about that one now, did I? I might just cover that with a tree if I'm being honest or something because I don't really know how. Oh, never mind. I did it. <laughs> I just had to hold shift and extend one side of our middle piece here. But as you can see, it looks perfect over on this side. If it was, if I could have it absolutely perfect, it would just be in a little bit more, but I just don't want it to cover that at all. So it's fine the way it is. But now my next question is, do we have a grass roof? We do. I'm actually just gonna sort by green. This one's giving more moss than the other ones are, which I like. This is coming along, I'm kinda excited. We have like this like thatched roof here, but I don't think 
that is the same color. Also, why is it so long? Makes me want to like, oh God, I hate everything about this actually. Should we just try to get like a vibrant green? Ooh, this is making me unhappy, <laughs> but I feel like this might be our only option here. It doesn't even match. Okay, this is a little bit better. It still doesn't match, but it's better. Okay, sorry, I'll get rid of the grid. I know you guys don't like that. Okay, okay, I'm pretty happy with this. This one's going way better than my other one was going. Let's grab some wallpaper. So the wallpaper or the the sliding, sorry. Oh God, I said it again. Siding on the outside of our building here is kind of interesting. I don't really know how to describe it. It's like got this wood flaky part on the bottom half kind of like this and then kind of like a line like that on the top this might work we're definitely not going to get anything that's like exactly like that but we could probably come pretty close yeah, so that's option one or you know what we could do we could do this from the werewolf pack Ugh, i think it's a little bit lighter than that though Ooh, it kind of looks like this actually hold on i think i need to switch the lot around because i seriously cannot see anything that i'm doing the lighting on this lot is horrendous that is so much better i think that that is pretty accurate to what we've got going on and the top half is like a beigey yellow color yeah like so and for here it actually just goes all the way down so i'm gonna throw that there as well okay cute it also has like kind of like pillar looking things oh that's why 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 i'm gonna have to find pillars and debug because that simply just will not do i guess that works at least now we have the lines we just have like a little bit extra lines going on but i think it's all right Ooh, or we could just do these oh i think we're gonna do this one instead yeah it looks a little bit more age which is what i would want for this let's do this little deck area and then we need like a cutesy wood fence it kind of looks like this one but this one's really light i could do this one from living that one works cute and we'll get a little wood here as well let's grab us some windows we need ones that are curved at the top something like this but with not as many lines i guess is the right word for it i might just have to go with these ones as like a compromise and yes i know they're going into the roof here but that's kind of how it looks we're going more for aesthetics today than functionality all right for the door i want to do a circular type door but we'll see what i can get we could do like a big circle window, but it just wouldn't function as a door. But we could put a door on the back of the house or even like right here on the side. Okay. And then we could give a little staircase and we could hide it in the garden somehow because we're going to make a garden that goes around here. But I feel like that looks a little bit more accurate to what the Airbnb actually looks like. Let's work on this little garden. I don't know how we're going to do this because the garden is actually round. We could do this like rounded deck. Oh goodness. We might just have to do it a different way. They have this little like stone little tiny fence that goes around the garden. I don't think we have anything that small. I mean, that one could work or this one. I think I'll go with this one. It looks like there's not much going on in the back of it. So I'm just going to keep it to the sides here. Once again, it can't really be round. I can kind of do this here to make it rounder, but it can't be round because I cannot work with round walls. I actually refuse to. So we're just going to have to make it work like so. I'm going to look for a pillar in debug really quick that I can throw here. I added some little debug pillar things they don't 100% match, but I am choosing to ignore this. Um, and I hope that you choose to ignore it too. <laughs> Anyways, let's quickly throw together some gardening. It seems like it's pretty basic gardening, not too, too many flowers, but lots of bright colors and a different assortment of flowers. So I'm also just going to quickly throw that together off camera. Off camera, I did just a little bit of landscaping. I think it looks super stinking cute. However, I think it's time to flip the lot around and maybe work on the inside. So it's actually quite small on the inside. I think what we've created here is actually a lot bigger. So I might shrink some walls 
only from the inside to make up for it. There is a bathroom in here. So I am gonna include that somewhere. What this little section is here is supposed to be the bathroom. So maybe I'll add that like back here, maybe. Maybe I bring the windows in more too. So I can like just wall off this whole part. So we'll just pretend like that's not happening. Let's get a light in here so we can actually see what's going on. Let's just space it out first. We'll just throw this bed here for now. Not saying that that's the bed that it's gonna be, but we're just spacing it out. There's also supposedly a window on the back of the house. So I'm just gonna add this. I know it's floating. It's for the aesthetics of the outside, please. Over here is a little mini fridge area, but we might actually be able to add an actual fridge. And over here, there's like a sink and a mirror because I'm assuming the bathroom in this place is so small that it can only fit a toilet and a shower. But for our bathroom, we're definitely going to be able to fit everything in there. So that's not really an issue. Maybe we can add like a study or an entertainment area over in this corner. So I fully spaced out the inside of our little hobbit hole here. And now I think we are going to move on to wallpapers and floors. So the inside of the cottage is like fully, or sorry, hobbit hole is fully this wood we could just go for this and the floors are also wood i might have the floors match or i would like to do maybe like a brick or something or a stone maybe not maybe we just do a plain wallpaper and then do the wood floors i think i'm gonna do this like white painted wall for the floors i think i'm gonna do this from cottage living let's grab us a bed i'm thinking we do one from either the cottage living pack or the horse ranch pack i'm leaning more towards cottage living though of course this could also be cool though i feel like this is something that a little hobbit would have and for the bedside table i'm also gonna pick something that looks like it's made out of wood i do like the idea of this i just think it should probably be yeah maybe something like that instead and i do actually still like the idea of this door i think i actually do want to use the stuff from cottage living for the kitchen as well it'll also bring some color in here as well Ooh, actually maybe the yellow cabinets could be fun with a yellow fridge cute and i think there's a yellow swatch of this bed okay kind of switching it up in here a little bit bringing in a little bit more of fun color i also added this little fireplace i thought it would be a cute touch and i still think so i do think i want a different couch though what couch is that i do not know I'm gonna do this couch from Cottage Living. It feels the most appropriate. Some little stools. We also need to put together a little bathroom in here. We use this little stone as the flooring. And I think just a white wallpaper will do. We need a little shower, a little sink, and a little toilet, a little mirror, a little toilet paper, some little like toiletries like towels, little soap, little laundry basket, hand towel, and of course a bath towel and a little carpet of course. And that's the bathroom all done. We still need to clutter it up in here a little bit with some plants. We should do a little gallery wall somewhere with some pictures, some little carpet. I love this little barrel trash can. I feel like it's very fitting. I almost forgot a sink. We definitely got to add this little mushroom chair here, of course. And maybe even one over here, as well as just like a regular armchair. I'm going to add this little, little fox lamp. And I think I'm going to replace the light with with this one from Cottage Living. I don't want it to be too bright in here. Okay, off camera I did just a little bit of, a little bit of something, you know, nothing crazy. But I added a couple trees. I added a little picnic table out here. I added a bike, a mailbox. I think this is also a flower crafting table. I don't know, just some cute things to make it look a little bit more purposeful. But I did finish the inside. Here is the actual entrance to the little hobbit hole. On the right here, we have our bedroom and our little dresser area the kitchen next to that we have the little living room area and if we go back over to this door here we have our little bathroom which has everything you need sink toilet shower you know the drill but I am super happy with how this build turned out. I literally have never built anything like this ever before. So this was definitely a challenge, but I had a lot of fun building it. And I hope you guys had fun watching me build it. If you like this build and you wanna download it for yourself, you can find it on the gallery under these hashtags or my gallery ID is just Ryosim. And if you're still here, thank you so, so much for watching all the way to the end of the video. I appreciate you. If you like this video,
Midio. If you like this video, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe and do all that YouTube stuff because it really helps out my channel. And if you want me to continue doing this series, let me know in the comments down below. I had a lot of fun with it. I always love trying to recreate real life builds. This one was definitely tough and you know, The Sims 4 is limiting, so keep that in mind, but leave some suggestions for Airbnbs you'd like me to recreate in the comments down below if you want me to continue that is. Make sure to check out the description for all my social medias, like my Instagram, my TikTok, and my Twitch. Once again, thank you so much to Beekeepers Naturals for sponsoring today's video make sure to check out the link in the description like i said before and with all that being said i will see you guys next time bye big thank you to my members you guys are dope and swag and dope and swag thank you